So, good morning and welcome back to the NPTEL lecture series on classics in total synthesis part 1. And the last lecture we talked about uh, total synthesis of natural products. Uh, there we talked about total synthesis of isochomines by Michael Pirang's group and uh, Pitzer's group. Today we will continue our discussion on uh, again total synthesis of isochomines. This synthesis is reported by Viresh Rabal. So, Viresh Rabal had reported the total synthesis of both alpha and beta isochomines and he reported this in 1994. His total synthesis involved 3 or 4 key reactions. One, Paternobiki reaction as you know Paternobiki reaction gives an oxytane that is four member ring and that is an intramolecular Paternobiki reaction to get oxytane as the key step. Second opening up the oxytane to get homoallylic alcohol ok, highly regioselective opening of the oxytane to homoallylic alcohol followed by a simple fragmentation reaction which converts the bridged system into fused system. So, these are 3 key reactions which Ravel has used in the total synthesis of isochromics. Let us see what he has done and from retrosynthetic point of view, so these are uh, alpha and beta isochromines, both can be obtained from one common intermediate and this is enone and it is very simple, the 5 XO radical cyclization can be used successfully to construct the third 5 membered ring. Already there are two 5 membered rings and the third 5 membered ring can be easily constructed by this 5 XO radical cyclization. So, once it is done then simple Wittig will give uh, one isochromine and isomerization of the double bond to endovolipine will give the other one. And of course, the bromide can be easily obtained from the corresponding alcohol and the first key step is this fragmentation. Fragmentation of the bridge system to the fused ring is the first key reaction from retrosynthetic point of view. So, this is the bond which is broken during this fragmentation ok. And this can be obtained from this oxytane using a regioselective opening of the oxytane followed by oxidation of the secondary alcohol you get this beta gamma and saturated you know. And this can be easily obtained from this bicyclic compound um, by another key reaction which is Paternobuki reaction. Paternobuki reaction is nothing but photochemical reaction between an alkene and a carbonyl group. So, this is an intramolecular Paternobuki reaction and this can be obtained from cyclopentadiene and this enone followed by alkylation. So, in two steps one can get this interesting bicyclic compound starting from cyclopentadiene. So, before we start discussing the total synthesis of isochromines reported by Ravel, as I said there are 3 key reactions and we will briefly discuss about these 3 key reactions. First it is a Paternobuki reaction, Paternobuki reaction is nothing but it is a photochemical reaction 2 plus 2 reaction between an alkene and a carbonyl group. Suppose if you start with benzophenone and isobutylene and the photochemical condition you get this 4 member ring. And one can also do the same thing with an aldehyde ok. Basically it is a reaction between a carbonyl group and an alkene. So, if you do the same thing with benzaldehyde and dihydrofuran you end up getting this bicyclic compound ok. And this was cleverly used in Viresh Rabel's total synthesis. The second key reaction is the conversion of an ester into methyl ketone. So, this was reported by E.J. Corey where if you have an ester and then treat with this lithium dimethyl sulfoxide ok. You take dimethyl sulfoxide and then generate anion here. This can add to your ester to form this beta keto sulfoxide. This upon reduction with aluminum amalgam ok that will give you the corresponding heat ok. This can be easily cleaved under this condition reducing condition ok. The third one 
which is very important uh, from the point of view of uh, synthesis of uh, this isocomines is the opening of the oxytane ring, how these oxytanes can be successfully opened. So, I will give one example which was reported by Viresh Ravel before we go to the total synthesis. If you do a Diels-Sol reaction between cyclopentadiene and methyl vinyl ketone, you get this endo product. Once you have this endo product, then shine light to carry out the intramolecular Paternobuchi reaction to get this tetracyclic compound. Okay. This oxytane can be opened by strong base, okay. it can be opened by strong base like LDA to get the corresponding alcohol. Okay. Once you have this alcohol, then you can use any oxidizing condition, for example, Swan oxidation will give you the corresponding ketone. Okay. So, now in 4 steps one could get successfully this tricyclic compound. Now what you need is you need to remove or break this bond to get a diquinine skeleton. Okay. So, that was successfully done with one of the two reagents, one either with lithium ammonia or with LIDBB. LIDBB is nothing but lithium ditertiary butyl biphenyl lithium ditertiary butyl biphenyl. So, basically uh, both reagents give one electron. So, one, when one, one electron is added to this carbonyl group, you get a radical anion. Okay. Then the radical opens up to give this required skeleton. Okay. So, let us see how, how does it work. So, once you have this enone and when you add this one electron, as I said, it forms this radical anion. So, the radical anion is not stable, okay. so it has to open up. So, if there are two ways a bond can break to give more stable compound or more stable intermediate, you should know whether bond A breaks or bond B breaks. Okay. Because once you have that radical here, so it can easily break. If bond A breaks, if bond A breaks, you will get this enolate and an allylic radical. Okay. And that should give you this enone. So, you have a diquinine with a ketone. So, if you look at this, automatically the double bond goes inside, it is a more stable compound. So, you get internal alkene, but this is not the product you get. What you get is based on the cleavage of bond B. If the bond B breaks, okay, now if you see this, there is a conjugation that enolate or enol which is formed is conjugated. So, that is why this is more favorable than this bond A breaking. So, when the bond B breaks, you get this dienol that tautomerizes to give this conjugated eno. Okay. So, in one step you can convert this into bicyclic eno. Okay. This is the key step. Okay. So there are three key steps, Paternobuchi reaction and conversion of ester to ketone, then opening of this. Now, let us see how he achieved the synthesis of isocomics. So, he started from cyclopentadiene and then did a Diels-Sol reaction with this dienophile methyl crotonate and you heat it, you get this compound. Now, the next step should be to remove the methoxy with methyl, but before that you need to do alkylation at this carbon okay? because you need a 3 carbon unit which should be attached here, that 3 carbon is required for intramolecular radical cyclization. So, before you convert this methoxy into methyl, what you should do is you should alkylate here. Because if you convert this methoxy into methyl, then the alkylation can go to the methyl group. So, that is why the alkylation should be done at this stage. So, you take this ester, then treat with the LDA and then quench with this iodide. So, this iodide is prepared in 3 steps from this propane 1, 3 diol. Okay. So, you protect one of the alcohol as mom ether, 
then convert the other alcohol as mesylate and then treat with sodium iodide you get this iodide compound. Now you generate anion here and then quench with this iodide and it goes stereoselectively it goes to the exo position. So now what you can see here is the methyl group here and this side chain that is a 3 carbon unit they are cis to each other because this stereochemistry will be maintained when you do the next step. Okay. Next you have to convert this methoxy into methyl group as I said you can follow Corey's procedure. So that reaction worked well to get the corresponding methyl ketone. So diel cell reaction is over, you introduce the 3 carbon side chain and you also converted the methyl ester into methyl ketone which is required for intramolecular Patanobuki reaction. So the intramolecular Patanobuki reaction has also worked very well to give the corresponding oxytane. So once you have this oxytane, next you have to open the oxytane. So either you can use LDA or a strong base to get the corresponding homo allylic alcohol. So this homo allylic alcohol upon oxidation under one condition gave this uh, enone and now upon treatment with uh, LIDBB the reaction worked very well and opened the tricyclic compound to the bicyclic compound. So now you have already the diquinine. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to cyclize here that will give the third ring which is required. So that way you will achieve the synthesis of angular triquinine core structure. Then it is just the functionalization of the carbonyl group. So for that first you have to remove the mom group. So the mom group can be easily removed using lithium fluoroborate. So that will give the alcohol and this alcohol for the radical reaction you convert that alcohol into corresponding bromide by treating with NBS and triphenylphosphine. So NBS and triphenylphosphine gives you the corresponding primary bromide. Once you have the primary bromide then treat with tributyltinhydride and AABN that will give you that radical here. So this will go and you form a radical that will attack here in a phi exo fashion and give you the angular triquinine. So now once you have the angular triquinine simple Wittig, simple Wittig will give you beta isochromine. Okay. So for the synthesis of alpha isochromine, so basically one can isomerize this double bond but what he did, he went back to the alcohol okay, and converted that alcohol into iodine okay. using triphenylphosphine and iodine one can easily convert the primary alcohol into corresponding alkyl iodide. This on treatment with butyl lithium, okay, n butyl lithium, you can exchange this with lithium. Then that lithium undergoes a 1 4 addition to the C known, and once that happens, it forms an enolate. It forms a 5 membered ring followed by enolate formation. That enolate is quenched with this reagent, it is called Cummins reagent that will give you the corresponding enol triplate. So once you have the enol triplate then you couple with Gilman reagent that is lithium dimethyl cuprate that will give you corresponding isocommon. So he used cleverly the Diels-Hall reaction, Patanobuki reaction and opening of the oxytane and also opening of the bridge system to fuse system to synthesize both alpha and beta isocommon. And the synthesis started with the commercially available inexpensive cyclopentadiene and these are the key reactions which he used to synthesize both beta and alpha isochromine. Overall the total synthesis was done in 14 linear steps and the yield was close to 20 percent. So 20 percent overall yield is really very good considering the triquinine complexity. Now since we are talking about this Patanobuki reaction and application of Patanobuki reaction in the total synthesis, um, we will continue our discussion uh, again uh, reported by Viresh Rawal in the synthesis of another triquinine uh, called 
Perfol 16 5 ohm. Okay. So, this was isolated in 1980s by Bowman and if you look at this molecule this is also an angular triquinine okay, an angular triquinine and here yet again Viresh Ravel used a use the same sequence that is Paternobuki reaction opening of the oxytane and followed by opening of the bridge system he could successfully synthesize this compound but importantly he could achieve this in 5 steps. Okay. So, that is a significant improvement compared to what he had earlier reported for the total synthesis of isocarbons. So, let us see uh, how he has done uh, not only you know selfie perfolanes there are so many other natural products which are having almost similar structure with some minor modification in the functional groups. Okay. There, here are some. His retrosynthesis actually started with uh, you know this oxytane. As you know already we discussed how oxytane is the key intermediate in the synthesis of isocomics. So, his precursor is this oxytane that oxytane can be redrawn like this. Okay. Now, this oxytane as soon as you look at this oxytane you know what should be the precursor. The precursor is nothing but this tricyclic system. So, one can do an Paternobuki reaction to get this intermediate. Okay. And this can be easily synthesized from Diels-Alder reaction. If you start with uh, 2, 4 dimethyl cyclopentadiene and this cyclopentene having a carbonyl group as dienophile, this Diels-Alder reaction will straight away give this tricyclic compound. So, he started this synthesis with uh, 2, 4 dimethyl cyclopentadiene and the cyclopentene uh, having a carbonyl group. For the Diels Sal reaction, he used a European salt, okay, this 10 mole percent actually helped in getting exclusively the endo isomer. Okay. So, now if you look at this, he got uh, how many chiral centers, though it is a racemic synthesis. So so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, all these chiral centers are fixed in one step that is Diels-Alder reaction. Okay. So, it is a relative stereochemistry, but still you get only one relative isomer. Once you have that, then you carry out the intramolecular photochemical 2 plus 2 cycloaddition that is Paternobuki reaction to get this oxygen. Okay, this also worked very well though you can see this slightly congested system, but photochemical reactions are known to give sterically, sterically as well as uh, you know ring strained compounds. Okay. So, once you have that then using the LIDBB you could easily open the oxytane to get the allylic alcohol. Okay. How many steps? One. 2, 3. In 3 steps you could get the core structure of this natural product and what is left for the synthesis of selfie perfol 16 5 ohm is just oxidation. If you oxidize this that is a natural product. So, simply you took this compound and oxidized with PDC you got the natural product. For the other compound, other natural product, one more natural product that is without the carbonyl group that is called sylphy perfol 16, he needs to remove this carbonyl group. So, he tried several conditions to remove this carbonyl group, but all of them gave poor yield of the required compound plus complex mixture. So, he has to go via a two step process. First, he acetylated the allylic alcohol to get the corresponding acetate. Then he treated that with lithium in 1 to diamino ethane. So, that gave the other natural product which is sylphy perfol 6E. Okay. If you look at this synthesis as I said both the natural products are made in 
4 steps and 5 steps. The first one was made in 4 step and the second one was made in 5 steps. And this was reported by Viresh Rawal group in 2000 and synthesis started from 2,4-dimethyl cyclopentadiene as in the case of isochromines. Here also the key reactions are intramolecular Paternobuchy reaction and the cleavage of oxytane and cleavage of the CC bond using lithium ditersributyl biphenyl and more importantly if you look at the total synthesis it involved only 4 and 5 steps. Okay, the first natural product it took, it took only 4 steps and for the second natural product it took only 5 steps and the overall yield is extremely high 33 percent and 35 for synthesis of angular triquinine is extremely high. One of the very efficient synthesis of angular triquinine reported by Varesh Rabal. So, with this uh, uh, we have completed the total synthesis of uh, 4 triquinines and we will continue our discussion on the synthesis of more angular triquinines followed by linear triquinines. Okay. Thank you.